वट आर गीजर्स एंड स्प्रिंग्स एंड डिफरेंसेस बिटवीन गीजर्स एंड स्प्रिंग्स गीजर्स आर फाउंटेन्स ऑफ हॉट वाटर एंड सुपर हीटेड स्टीम दैट मे गो अप टू अ हाइट ऑफ वन फिफ्टी फीट फ्रॉम बिनीथ द अर्थ द फिनमिना ऑफ गीजर्स इज एसोसिएटेड विद थर्मल और वॉल्कैनिक रीजन Uh, in which the water below the earth surface is being heated beyond boiling point the water is being heated due to volcanic activity in that region and the jet of water is usually emitted with an explosion and is often triggered off by gases seeping out of the heated rocks जब वॉल्कैनिक एक्टिविटी की वजह से रॉक्स हीट अप हो जाते हैं तो उनके अंदर रॉक्स के क्रैक्स में जो गैसेस होती हैं दे आल्सो गेट हीटेड एंड हीट होने की वजह से वो एक्सपैंड होती हैं एंड दे आर फोर्स टू कम आउट और उस फोर्स की वजह से गीजर्स का वाटर भी एक्सप्लोजन के साथ बाहर आता है some of the major geysers are found in iceland uh, the rotorua district of north island new zealand and yellowstone park of usa in the yellowstone national park in usa uh, there is a geyser which is known as old faithful and it erupts at regular intervals that is every 63 minutes on an average थर्मल स्प्रिंग्स जो हॉट स्प्रिंग्स होती हैं दे ओरिजिनेट वेर वॉटर सिंक्स डीप इनफ बिनीथ द सर्फेस टू बी हीटेड बाई इंटरनल फोर्सेज इंटीरियर फोर्सेज विच आर नॉट नेसेसरीली वॉल्कैनिक सो इन स्प्रिंग्स द वॉटर गोज सो डीप इन साइड द अर्थ दैट इट गेट्स हीटेड एंड इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट द वॉटर इज हीटेड बियॉन्ड बॉइलिंग पॉइंट whereas in geysers the water is heated beyond the beyond the boiling point that is 100 degree celsius or uh, 212 degrees fahrenheit so the water rises to the surface without any explosion in springs and such springs contain dissolved minerals which may be of some uh, medicinal value also or iceland has a uh, Uh, geyser also we uh, i just told you iceland has thousands of hot springs also now the difference between springs and geysers in contrast to geysers water rises to surface without any explosion in springs so in springs there is no explosion whereas geysers may generally water rises with an explosion uh, secondly springs are more common than geysers geysers are very rare uh, then thirdly springs are not associated with volcanic origin but geysers are usually associated with volcanic origin and uh, fourth point springs may not be heated to beyond boiling point but geysers are super heated bodies now springs occur where very deep ground water is heated in warm bedrock there is no volcanic activity or such but because it's very deep you know, so it is heated the water is heated in warm bedrock at a uh very uh, at very deep and it flows up to the ground water that water which has been heated uh, due to the depth it flows up to the ground water and hot springs develop in geothermal regions places where magma and very hot rock reside close to the earth surface uh and whereas the geyser 
uh, is generally associated with a thermal or volcanic region in which water below is heated beyond a boiling point that is 100 degree celsius beneath a geyser lays a network of irregular fractures there are rocks which have irregular fractures and uh, they are very hot the rocks are very hot and when ground water sinks and fills these fractures it gets super heated and when it gets super heated so it expands and comes out with an explosion so that was all about geysers and springs if you have any doubts you can uh, comment uh, put a comment in the comment section and uh, i'll try to resolve it